how are you so now we will be solving this question and the question says that an object is released from rest in a vacuum at the height h above the earth surface as an object falls it passes through the height of 0.7 so there is a building with height h and some object is thrown downwards so it reaches here and there is a case when the height is 0.75 like this from ground we have to calculate measure so the kinetic energy at this level this is the one level and this is the second level for your understanding so basically the question saying is the kinetic energy at the one level and potential energy at the second this we have to find out so how we will use the equations the potential energy so we have to use the potential energy there so k is half m v square and potential energy is m g h potential energy as at this level so we will use h and uh, v so from sweat equations now we will calculate the value of v so this will first we will write this will be m v squared upon m g h with m m goes so this becomes v square upon 2 g h so we will now find the value of v and then we will put in this equation okay so here u is equals to 0 v is we have to find v and the distance that will be traveled by the body is 0.25 h because this is complete is h and this is 0.75 h so this will be 0.25 h okay so how we will find this v from the third sweat equation that is v square equals to u square plus 2 a s so v square equals to that we have to find and 2 a is g and s is 0.25 x and v square is this so now we will put this v square value in this equation so what it will be 2 g 0.25 h upon 2 g h so you can write capital h only so 2 g with 2 g goes h with h goes and this is 0.25 is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is the b option so b option will be the right option now we will check the mark scheme p is option is the right option so what we have done in this question first calculate the kinetic energy and potential energy for kinetic energy we have calculated the velocity at 0.25 h distance and then we have just taken the ratio so thank you for watching this video if you have some doubts you can definitely put your doubts in the comment section i'll be very happy to solve all those your doubts thank you for watching